So you've been playing Star Blast and you like it. You finally mine up enough gems to get a tier 2 ship. But which one do you pick? Every tier has more and more ships. How do you make sense of it all? Never fear, for here is my subjective list of the top 5 ship upgrade paths, in no particular order. Before we begin, let me provide you with some ways to access the ship tree. There's a website called Love Ships Shipyard, link in description, where you can explore an interactive ship tree. This tree is up to date and shows basic stats of each ship. You can also access a less detailed ship tree by pressing escape while in a game. You can see silhouettes of the ships in this tree, but no actual information. So I'd recommend using Love Ships over the in-game tree. With that out of the way, let's get to the paths. The Advanced Fighter is a ship all the way on the left of the ship tree. So following this path is as easy as always choosing the leftmost ship. The Advanced Fighter does the most damage of any tier 6. On top of that, you get access to the tier 7 Odyssey, which has the most powerful shot of any ship in the vanilla team mode game. Along the way, you get to use the tier 3 Pulse Fighter and the T5U Sniper, two excellent attacking ships. One massive hindrance to this route is the slow mining. Every ship on this route is either okay at mining or outright crap, like the infamously slow tier 4 Vanguard. If you're going to use this route, you'll have to play aggressively and enter lots of fights to try and grab gems. It's a hostile world in the asteroid fields, and only the most brave and skilled take this path. This path follows the right side of the ship tree, so always choose the rightmost ship and you're golden. There aren't any standout ships in this path, with exception to the O Defender, which is a highly underrated ship. This path is good for at one thing, and one thing only, mining. If you enjoy repeating mindless tasks for hours on end, then I've got good news for you. You're going to get in trouble if you try and fight in these ships, so it's imperative that you stay near your team. Also, if you like secondaries, you'll be mining plenty for all the weapons in the world. If you decide to take this path, remember to watch your map for enemies coming to attack. This path follows the right side of the ship tree until reaching the Y Defender. Then, pick the Tier 4 Pioneer on the left, the Tier 5 Howler on the right, and either the Tier 6 Rock Tower or the Tier 6 Barracuda. This path is for the mid-game attacker, the mid-game being during Tier 4 and Tier 5. The Pioneer and the Howler are excellent attackers for their tiers, and the Rock Tower is an underrated combat ship, as well as an excellent miner. The Tier 6 Barracuda and the Tier 3 Y Defender are also good miners. This makes the path well-rounded for both combat and mining, while leaning on the mining side. Some drawbacks to look out for are that the Y Defender is not very useful as an early game attacker, and the Rock Tower is tricky to fight in as well. Keep these downsides in mind while you crush your enemies with the ship path. This path follows the Advanced Fighter path until the Pulse Fighter. From Pulse Fighter, choose the Mercury then Fairy Star, then either the Scorpion or Marauder. This is also a well-rounded path, with the excellent early game attacker, the Pulse Fighter, the popular Tier 5 Fairy Star, and excellent T6 options. The Scorpion is a solid attacker and a good miner. The Marauder is a fast attacker with a laser that's tricky to aim. The only downside with this ship route is the Mercury. The Mercury is a less than average ship when it comes to group fighting, and it needs to be completely maxed to hold its own in a 1v1. Try to fly under the radar during tier 4, and emerge as a vicious attacker during the rest of the game with this path. Delta Fighter, to Side Fighter, to Axe Warrior or Side Interceptor, you can choose either, to Atos, to A Speedster. This is a strange path to remember, but is worth it. The A Speedster is the champion of one thing, fast attacking. With its decent laser, a slim profile, and high agility, this ship in the right hands can attack just about anything. The drawback to this ship route is just about every other ship. The tier 3 side fighter is a good miner, but a dangerous attacker, as the randomness of its spray makes it ineffective at long ranges. So I have to fight up close and personal with the side fighter. The tier 4 options are actually quite good. With the fast attacking side interceptor and a tank like X Warrior, you can choose your ship by preference. The tier 5 Atos is, is just a, it's it's really garbage. Best to mine as fast as you can for the next ship, the legendary A Speedster. 
If you're a sweaty duelist and you only ever talk about how bad you are, then this ship route is for you. And there you have it. The Advanced Fighter Path, the O Defender Path, the Howler Path, the Marauder Path, and the A Speedster Path. All these ships have good aspects and downsides as well. That's what makes this game so great. The tree is so balanced that you need to respond to events happening in-game in order to succeed. You can't just stick to one overpowered path for every single game. With that, I bid you farewell. Get out there and blast some stars.